Right, so far in the other videos we've been doing mesh modeling. In this video I want to go through something that's called Boolean modeling and that is where you can sort of stick or subtract shapes from each other. Uh, so um, just this first video will be the principles of it. So I'm going to add a cube and add a UV sphere. Um, I'm then going to look kind of straight on at it um, and uh, let's just put that on and so the sphere is selected at the moment I'll just move that out so we can see that a bit and scale it okay um, now I'm, I just want to duplicate this box so shift D for duplicate and grab cube or box number one and just move that over it's just I'm going to do this four times so see so duplicate that again shift D enter and then move that copy over there you can see they're slowly building up cube one two and and number three enter move that one over there okay so selecting the sphere we move that over and just put it on the box um, so now what I want to do is um, I'm actually going to capture the space that is the intersection between this box and the sphere. So um, you always got to kind of work with what is basically the parent shape. So that's going to be the box in this case. Um, and uh, the sphere is marked there. And uh, the Boolean uh, falls under modifiers. So that's the spanner. So along, you know, kind of in this window, the spanners click on that then you get the drop down and it's boolean that you're after so select boolean then you get a readout over here and um, it offers you three options the intersection the union of the two shapes or the difference so we want on this first one the intersection and um, i've got my parent cube selected and i want to intersect the sphere so i've got to then select the object that i want to intersect it's going to be the sphere and there the orange line represents what's going to be kind of the, the shape okay so you know that's worked all right so then this uh, drop down here has got apply written underneath it so i can then apply this modifier so that's now done. But there's a funny sort of thing going on here, and that is because um, the sphere always remains just as a copy. So I could you know, select the sphere up there or select it on here, and then I can move that across and then use it again on the next one. So that's my new shape. So cube, the original cube is now just that shape. Okay, so now I'm going to try the next sort of Boolean on this one. So uh, let's just, um, well, it's in a good enough place. Select my cube, cube number one, and I'm going to then say subtract this shape from the cube. So, you know, it's already selected the spanner, add, and it's the Boolean that I'm after, Boolean. This time I'm clicking Union, intersection we've done, Union. I then must, what object do I want to union the sphere? Obviously, if I pressed one of the other cubes, nothing would happen because it's not overlapping. You obviously, your shapes have to be overlapping. So I'm going to union the sphere to it. And it's all looking all right because I can see the orange goes right around. So I can apply that. Okay, again, this funny pattern going on. And that is because, you know, the, kind of that, the sphere is is also sitting there on top of it. So you can see it's made a copy of the sphere and stuck it onto there. All right. So uh, choice number three here, again, the kind of the parent, I'm gonna stick it onto the box. So that's cube two and um, add the sphere to that. Boolean, this time it's difference. It's gonna be different, sorry. Um, and object to cut away. Now here, this is actually going to be cut inside, so the orange kind of edge you can't see where it's happening, but I think that's all right. So let's apply that, and then we'll be able to see. So now the sphere, can select that, 
and pull that over really to use there and you can see we've now done the kind of the negative okay so on the drop down we can now see um, on a boolean the intersection was that the union is obviously joining it together and the difference is the one subtracted from the other at the moment we're in perspective view if we go into orthographic view I think that it gives you a slightly better representation of it all. Um, right, so you know that's lovely. You could take lots of spheres and stick them together, or boxes, or whatever you want to do. Um, but just when you are working like this, you need to watch out that um, the kind of the mesh is sort of equal between the two shapes that you're working on. So I'm now going to go into wireframe. Um, so that's up here. We could either hit it there and then go back to solid view there. Or if I press down the key Z, then I can go to wireframe there. And you can see how any sort of plane that is just big and flat, it's got very little detail in it, um, whereas the sphere had detail in it. So I've saved this last box so that we can try and rectify this. So if you were then to kind of work on this later on and subdivide it more, um, then uh, actually let me do it with this one. So we're in object mode, go into um, edit mode because a subdivision would be done in edit mode, you're editing it to subdivide. So the edge and we subdivide it. So that gives me more detail that I could kind of work on. But you can see that this is subdividing as well as the, as the main box. So down here I can go and up the number of subdivisions. But the whole time that's also subdividing. So you're still not getting a good relationship between the box um, and that. So let's just undo all Oops. that. Back to object mode and back to solid view all right press it so the solution to that is before we stick this together what we should really do is go in um, to edit mode and do the subdivisions uh, where are we edge and subdivide um, and i'm looking to subdivide such that it looks very similar to that so you know i've got this box opens to us, so I can hit up the subdivisions and away we go. One more. Okay, so now my squares in here are quite similar to there. I could almost go one more, I think. Yeah, there we go. So that's now about equal. Um, so back into object mode because any modifier should get applied at object mode. So I've got my cube that I'm working with, number three. And I want to, I'm going to actually add it, I think, like I did there. So add the sphere to that. So it's the Boolean union and the sphere that I want to do. That's looking good. And now we can apply that. Okay. And I will just switch off the sphere. So although that looks you know, just the same, now if I go into wireframe mode, you can see that that is you know, a uniform. And if we subdivide that, we're going to keep going with the same kind of quality the whole way. Um, here if with the sphere, if I switch it back on, you can see you know, what we've done is make sure that there's no kind of mesh inside. And this can become a problem with, with printing. If you just sort of line up two objects and place them next to each other, then there's always you know, the internal structures, whereas the Boolean does away with that and it makes one kind of what they call a watertight container or an outer surface that is just the forms. So go back to solid view. Right, so that's the basis of the Boolean.